What up, loungers? What's going on? Here's another episode for you. New digs. Enjoying it. Comfortable. It's not cold in my garage. Oh, all right. So we're going to talk about mental health. I know. Seems to be a lot of mine. And I get that. I understand if you're tired of it, too bad. Uh, I'm a big advocate for getting help and things of that nature. But this one's kind of different. Uh, scrolling through Instagram the other day, I saw a post from a page called anti TikTok cop 2.0 anti dash tick dash talk cop 2.0. And basically what he does is just repost videos from allegedly other police officers. And from what I understand, he's a police officer currently. Now, He doesn't always say anything. He'll just post the video and let others make their comments. I follow him. It's hilarious. And the stuff you people are making has not changed since I made one called anti-TikTok years ago. Right? Oh, no. What did I call it? I called it TikTok MFers. Right? And anyways... So he posted a video of this officer. I don't believe he said anything in it. And she got mad. So she got mad. She messaged him, asked him to delete it. But even after asking him to delete it, she had stated that her department was okay with it. Okay, well, if your department is okay with it, why do you want him to delete it? Now, I looked at her page, and her department does follow her. So I'm assuming they did sign off on it, but whatever. Anyways, in the comments, they were just lighting her up, just belittling her. Just, uh, it was bad, right? I mean, like, that was troll status right there. And in... Here, here's here's the problem I had, right? They were they were knocking her pretty hard. And I get that. And 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 being somewhat of a presence on social media in this industry, I've had comments, I've been trashed, I've been destroyed. And I understand it can affect you. But she had messaged him that it was affecting her mental health. What? How is it affecting your mental health when all he did was repost your video? You should be glad it's getting you exposure because I've learned one thing in this business, at least, in, well, in, in any type of uh, public forum, there is no such thing as bad publicity. And it took me a very long time to understand that. She looks young, and I guess that has, uh, I, I, I'm going back to that, and I don't want to. Um, here, Here's the thing, right? People my age, I, I'm a Gen Xer, and we typically, at least the older Gen X, because Gen X can go all the way back to like 1980, we don't see online stuff serious social media i should say we don't see social media as something that's serious because we never had it right like i was doing a a, a high school ministry i was helping out with as a high school leader and, and mentor for for high school students and they were telling me now mind you this was oh gosh more than seven years ago And they were telling me that you weren't officially dating somebody until you announced it on social media. Huh? Like, I still don't get it, right? But we don't, social media was strictly entertainment for us. And I think that's why I actually like TikTok. I I don't watch it anymore because I can get lost on TikTok. There is something. Funny stuff out there. There's some really stupid stuff. But there's a lot of funny stuff. And, you know, once you get your algorithm going, man, you just, I I could be on there all day long and not even think twice about it. 
most of the older generations think you're ridiculous with your how serious you take social media. Now, I understand things are changing, especially in politics, that social media plays a big role. I understand that. Believe me, I understand that. I know. You can call me a boomer or whatever, but I'm not. I'm not a boomer. Gen X. Nice try. But here's the thing. Getting off track. Uh, the part where she said it's affecting her mental health. You have a badge and a gun. You should not have a mental health issue when it comes to social media. And if you do, you need to get off of it now. They need to do another psych eval on her if it's affecting her this much to the point where she was claiming all kinds of different stuff. And I'm not going to quote her because I didn't write any of it down. But did she even get a psych eval? Did she pass? Seriously, did she? If this affects your mental job, how the f- do you have a job? If that's all it takes to affect you, you really need to resign. There should not be someone who's affected by social media that bad and have a gun. You shouldn't. Period. That's just my philosophy. And I understand 2A. Believe me, I'm a huge 2A opponent. Proponent. I'm big under that. But if some social media comments are what affect you, you should not be around a firearm. You definitely shouldn't have it as a job. Again, all he did was repost her. Here's the thing that that a lot of people don't understand about social media, too. Once you post it, anybody can share it. Anybody can use it. Anybody can repost it. Don't believe me? Then why is there a share button? You think that Instagram doesn't know better with the law as far as what they can and can't be sharing and what you can and can't be using? (laughs) I guarantee you they got some of the best lawyers out there. And you want to go into some conspiracies. We can get into some serious conspiracies about that. About what kind of lawyers they have. They got high-end government lawyers. Promise. If you don't want people to repost your stuff, don't post it. Or make your account private. And even if it's private, they can still share it. There's ways to get around that. I can just screenshot a recording. So what do you do? You know, there's a lot of things. Like I just said, you can make your page private. But again, as long as I can view it, I can share it. So I could come and friend you as on my personal page, record it, Turn around to my other page and post it, and you would never know. You would never know who did it. The other things you need to do is stop showing your department name. That is what's going to get you in trouble the fastest, showing your department name. Whether they signed off on it or not, don't display your department name. Nothing should identify your department whatsoever. If your part partner if your department asks you to post something respectfully decline decline it don't get involved here's the thing that a lot of people don't understand and this took me a very 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 long time to understand your human resources department is not there for you do you understand that Do you understand that human resources is designed to protect the company, not the employees? That is why unions exist. Unions should be for the employees, and human resources is actually designed for the business, to protect the business, not the employee. Don't be fooled. They are not there to protect you, no matter what they say. They are there to protect themselves. When somebody comes to HR with a sexual assault lawsuit, guess what? Or or complaint, guess what? You think they're trying to help that person? They're not. 
They are not there to help that person. If they were, they would say, hey, how about you use our attorneys and we can sue them with you? Nope. They're not there to help you. So if you post something for your department and then somebody says they don't like it, guess what? It falls back to you. Especially if all they did was ask you to post it. There's nothing in writing. There's no agreement. There's nothing there. No contract that states you can post this with no repercussions. You're done. Best thing you can do if you are in a public eye like this and first responders is stay off of social media. Stop posting about what you do for a living or how you do it. No one cares. Promise. I didn't take my own advice years ago. I posted a picture. I posted a picture of a suction tank connected to oxygen in a trauma bay. All I did was post the photo. There was no identifying marks whatsoever. This is why I say stay off of social media or don't post anything about your job or your work. I didn't post where I was. At the time, nobody knew where I worked except a few of my personal friends who knew I was running the EMS lounge. Somebody, and I knew who they were at the time, and I've lost that information because the post was deleted but I believe they worked for AMR in the area and ratted me out to human resources. So yeah, I got a call in to, and, and that's kind of what caused my demise of, of hiring or not really hiring because they weren't paid, but why I brought in other admins. I had some at the time, uh, but I brought in some new ones at, at that point and that turned out to be a fiasco, but whatever. But what happened was HR called me in, and instead of asking me to take it down, they immediately accused me of posting it, immediately told me to take it down. That, And I'm going, how the heck do they know that we posted this? Because somebody went and tagged the hospital that I worked at, and it was somebody from AMR, uh, Rancho Division. And I went through a huge investigation at work, called into multiple meetings. And after my first one, I came out, I blocked the page from everybody. I made, basically went private with it so it can't be seen, deleted the post. And I went dark for a while. That's when you met Troll and, and a couple others. Because it allowed me to stay in the shadows. And I just denied everything. Yep, I lied. I denied it all. But they still couldn't prove it. And then they were able to find some things on other social media pages. They full-on investigated me. They went to YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, they, all over. And they were able to put two and two together and realized it was me that posted it. But again, no identifying markers. So, got in a lot of trouble for that. So, I didn't heed my own advice. So, I'm telling you guys right now, again, stop posting about... Your job. Other EMTs and paramedics are not impressed by what you do. They're not. I know we all like looking at stuff. We all like looking at the TCs. We love looking at all these weird things and this and that. And I get that. But if it's your original content, you've got to be careful. The, the funny part about my picture that I posted, it was not my original content. I got it from somebody else. It just happened to be from my job. But I didn't take the picture. So, I'm telling you all this, and I know some of you, if not all of you, will not heed my advice. 
You've been warned. I've told you multiple times, and yet you still refuse. So just know that if you are a cop listening to this, you may end up on anti-TikTok cop 2.0. And if you do, do not complain. He will not take it down. I promise you, you can threaten him all you want. He's not going to take it down. I've talked to him. He's not taking it down. But going back to what I was saying, why does this person still remain in law enforcement if this is affecting her mental health? If your social media is affecting your mental health, stop. You want to know who did that? Me. I'm not saying I'm better than you, but I'm telling you, take a break. Why do you think I've been gone right now? There's multiple reasons. One is I'm super busy. End of the year is super busy for me. It's my busiest time of year. But on top of that, I don't even want to turn on social media. I really don't. Between all the political crap that's going on and just the memes are either regurgitated memes or they're all just... It's all about how, you know, the, the the female pages are how much of a slut you can be, and the male pages are just about, a lot of them are posting just almost nudity all the time. I don't need to see it. I don't. I don't need to see it. And if I'm in a public place and I open up my phone and there's some chick in a bikini, I don't need that on my screen. I'm in a professional environment a lot of the time. And then stupid me, open up Instagram, and there it is. And so I got to unfollow those pages. And unfortunately, it's getting to the point where I got to unfollow everybody. Do I enjoy the content sometimes? Some of the stuff you guys post is hilarious. But then I see that, I'm just like, eh. I can't risk opening my phone in a company meeting or something of that nature, and that stuff pops up. But I follow EMS and fire pages for firing EMS memes. But they're getting old. They're getting all the same. Mine are the same. Why do you think I've stopped? You haven't seen a meme from me in a while. It's been a minute. Oh, I can't believe I just said that. I hate that term. I hate the term been a minute. I really do. You know what I'm getting at? You see kind of what I'm getting at? I mean, my last meme was January 1st. I did two. Prior to that, it was November 23rd. I needed a mental health break, so I took one. And some of you need to do the same. Just be careful. Trust me, from an old man who's been through it all, be careful. You're, you're, even if you think your page is private, even if you say, well, I'm anonymous and nobody knows me, somebody knows you. I promise you, somebody knows you. Somebody. It could be your partner. It could be another page admin. I promise you, I know other page admins. I know who they work for. I know what departments they work in. I I can get probably six, seven, maybe ten uh, admins in trouble at their job. Real easy. One phone call is all it takes. But yet their pages are anonymous. I was anonymous. I was still found out. Why? Because we're too dumb to keep our mouth shut. Me too. I was excited when I took over the EMS lounge, and so all my friends knew I took it over. And then the person that gave it to me Let other people know that I was running it. So there was no anonymity there. You can say you are, but you're not. Somebody knows you. Anyways. Hopefully there's more to come. I'm working. I've got a few that I've written down uh, as far as shows go. The problem is, is my ADD has kicked in really hard lately. And maybe it's just because in the year, it's possible. I'm going to try to get some more content out to you guys. Had a few people reach out and join the show, so still want to keep it going. Plus, I got all this money invested in all this equipment. So 
Uh, if you guys have any show ideas, please go to Instagram, DM me, and let me know a show idea. If I feel it's uh, worthy enough of a show, we'll go ahead and record one. If you want to be part of the show, that's fine. DM me your ideas, and we'll be more than happy to uh, put together a show, and we'll talk about whatever you guys want to talk about. Sound good? I hope so. Um, other than that, I don't have anything else for you. You guys uh, stop posting. Just enjoy. Have a good one. Keep lounging. <laughs>